It's been a while since Adam Grad, the first raid for Modern Warfare 2 has came out. And as interesting as that is, I think there's something a bit more interesting we could kind of focus on, at least for this video here. And what that is, is the next raid that we're going to be getting. And I want to look at it from a couple of different things. I want to talk about a potential release date for it, the story, and finally, a possible location for where it could be taking place. But first, let's talk about its release date. And this is pretty simple, so we're not going to spend really any time on it at all. But as we all know, they already confirmed there's going to be five raids in total this year of Modern Warfare 2. They also confirmed that there's only going to be five seasons for Modern Warfare 2 this year. So it's pretty safe to assume that we're going to be getting one raid per season. And considering the first raid came out with Season 1 Reloaded, we're probably going to be getting one raid every season reloaded. And this would mean the next raid would be coming out with Season 2 Reloaded. And we could try to figure out exactly when that's going to be but honestly that's just not going to be too valuable right now so overall you should expect to see the next raid with season 2 reloaded but now let's move over to something that is a lot more interesting and this is the story and locations of this next raid and where we're getting this information from is both the ending cutscene and one of the pieces of intel and kind of side note mentioning the intels nobody's actually found all the intel for adam grad so if you guys want to potentially find even another hint at the next raid maybe help us get on that and try to find all of the intel in adam grad regardless though what is the hints towards the next raid that we got from adam grad well, the first thing that I think is interesting to look at is that ending cutscene to Adam Grad, because in it, we see our characters look at this giant nuke and they just look at it. And, you know, I think that a lot of people think that, like, that's the whole point of it. But honestly, I think that the nuke is a red herring, a distraction from what's really going on here, because, I mean, was Alcatel really ever going to do something with that nuke? I, I don't think so, because, I mean, it wasn't even the main goal why our characters were there. Our characters went there to go save Alex and his team, right? Like, that's the whole purpose of why we went into this raid. But by the end of it, Alex and his team were nowhere to be found. Well, I guess at least some of them were somewhere to be found. They were, like, dead on the floor. But, you know, maybe some of them were missing, too. But the point is that Alex was not there. And I think that this is what Alcatel was really after. Alcatel was really after Alex, and the whole point of this nuke was just to draw him out. But this is just me saying it at this point. What proof do I have for this outside of the cutscene? Well, it's, of course, that piece of intel that I've mentioned. And I'll put it on screen and read it out for you guys right now. Brothers, we are victorious in our mission. We killed many invaders and captured the ones we sought. The prisoners were taken to the embassy. They will be ready to instruct our teams. We await news of your success and Sati signed Jabor. Hopefully I'm saying that name correctly. I'm not entirely sure. But why is this significant? Well, it's actually significant for a lot of things. The first thing is how he mentions that Alcatel was successful in their mission. And guess what? The mission had nothing to do with that nuke. And he says right there in the first line, we captured the ones we sought. The whole point was to capture some people. And at least one of those people that we are aware of is definitely Alex, because obviously they got him and we didn't find him by the end of it. And this is exactly the reason why I think like the main goal of Alcatel is to capture Alex. Now, why exactly they want to capture Alex and why he's so valuable, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I missed something in the Modern Warfare 2019 story, but I just don't entirely know. I mean, they kind of tell us that they will be ready to instruct our teams, but why would Alex do that? I, I just don't really know. Maybe we just have to wait and see more information come out in the story to really understand exactly why he's so valuable. But if you guys do have any ideas, let me know down in the comment section below. Regardless though, on top of the story information that just gave us there, it also gave us two locations. And these locations are what I think are possible locations of the next raids. And the first one is in the line where it says, the prisoners were taken to the embassy. And I could definitely see a raid kind of going down where the whole point is to go into this embassy and then go save the prisoners that were captured and then take them out. Like that could definitely be something. And on top of this, we already know that there literally is an embassy map in both multiplayer and Warzone. I mean, it's the same map except, you know, on Warzone. So potentially you could see that they would reuse some of those assets for this possible embassy map, right? So, I mean, I could kind of see that happening, but I just don't think it will just because 
I mean, how could an embassy be a whole raid map? I mean, we all saw the size of Atomgrad. That map is humongous. And I don't think there's an embassy out there that is that size. So, I don't know. It could potentially be... I mean, the whole map doesn't have to take place in one embassy. So, I know it could work out like that. But potentially, this is... A location that could be for a future raid but there is another location hinted at here and as you guys maybe already tell this is the one that i think is probably much more likely that we're going to see the next raid take place in and of course this is mentioned in the final line where it says we await news of your success in sati and right away we could hear that alcatel is going to be doing something in sati they're doing something there for sure and considering they're going to do something there we're probably going to try to go there and stop them. Like that's just kind of how this stuff works. But what makes this even more interesting is that Satie is a place that we've already seen in other places in the game, much like Embassy. But unlike Embassy, it's not in multiplayer and instead it's only on the Warzone 2 map. Because on the Warzone 2 map, there's a location called Sati Cave Complex. And anybody who has played Warzone or DMZ probably has been here and been into these caves. And to me, what I think is probably going to be going on here is that this exact location is going to be where the next raid is going to be. And they are going to be reusing some of the location that we see in Warzone, but I think that is going to be a much more expanded version of this. Because as much as the caves are kind of, kind of raidy, already it's still not big enough so what i imagine they would do here is that it is going to take place in the sati caves but it's going to be an expanded version of that they're going to maybe find this location that you can't access in the warzone 2 version of this map but in the raid version there's this humongous secret area down there that you could do something else in to me i think that that would just make a lot of sense because it would make it where they don't have to make as much original content for this because they can reuse stuff from warzone but on top of that it can be expanded into a full raid map that it kind of is its own map at the same time and i know when i say this that that a lot of people wouldn't be happy with reusing stuff from other game modes a lot of people just want original content and i get that but to me just the mention of sati and the fact that there is sati caves on warzone it just seems to make too much sense that they would have a connection between the two regardless though that's everything i wanted to talk about for the possible next raid in Modern Warfare 2. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about all of this. Do you guys agree with me about the release date that's going to happen with every season reloaded? And also, do you have any ideas for why Alcatel and Jabor want Alex and a couple other people so desperately? And finally, do you think Sati or even Embassy is going to be the location of the next raid? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on all of that down in the comment section below. Regardless though, that's going to wrap it up for me. If you guys did enjoy the video, I would appreciate if you guys dropped a like, subscribe, bell, share, or any of that great stuff. But I'm going to go catch you guys next stream video or whatever the heck it may be. And uh, latest guys.